this wall is kind of flowing. Ba ba ba. I put a curtain up that's just to block the area of the window, but we're gonna put curtains up as well as privacy film there. Um, and we're gonna put privacy film on this window too. Uh, but yeah, so this is what we've got kind of vibe-wise so far. Um, I was playing around seeing if I like this net idea because we have this like pl tropical plant room and I work at a tiki bar and I like the tiki bar vibe so that kind of spills into here and there's a lot of like pinup and retro shoots that have that vibe so we're playing around and then as you can see I'm also trying to figure out our faux wall which already these two panels will really only fill up this corner and that's eight panels and we have four more and I need to get under the window and above the window and then in this little corner. Um, so I assume I'm going to have to order one more box of this faux plant before I can finish that. Um, but today we're going to be putting up some window film on this window and these windows. Um, I did have this one which is the cool glittery reflective but that's where I realized I didn't want just rainbows bouncing around fully in the room. So that's where we have that window has the reflective and then I bought a different window film that finally arrived for this window and that window. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And then I may or may not be putting up a wire curtain rod downstairs. So we're going to get to it. That's our little projects for today. Okay, we have new battery. Oh, that just says it's dead as well, but we'll see. This is our window film. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus. It won't focus on them. Hold on. Manual focus. Okay. You can kind of see there's leaves um, on this. It's like a see, not see-through, but semi-see-through, and then there's leaves. Um, and it looks very green, which I wasn't expecting. So we'll see how this works. Um, but I'm going to do that wall window, not window wall, and then figure out this window too. So I will show you guys how to... To do this these are really easy you one need to just wipe down your window um, which we'll do and then you need to spray water uh, I've seen a lot of people use soapy water I've just used water and like that one's there and it's clinging so I don't think you have to use soapy water or Oops, our curtain rod I've moved things um, like I said we're gonna do a little uh, spray down of the window like so super cool um, and it's textured on one side um, okay so we're gonna roll it out to the length of this Ugh. okay realize okay. all right guys at this point I figure I think it's best to just put this guy up because I need to know how much gap I have um, and then so these guys always kind of have two, so it says pull this, so 
This one's nice. It has like a little sticker spot. Okay, is that really cool? No, that's tape. Okay, fine. I'll do it the way I always do. Okay, there we go. Another thing. Um, yeah. So there's always a plastic film on it when you get done. Sorry, I was loud and annoying. ASMR. side is the side that you put up against the window. Um, again, we're going to spray our window down. Make sure there's a good amount of water. Um, okay. I'm also trying to uh, time lapse this via TikTok. All the content. Okay. Then this is where I'm just going to kind of arbitrarily stick you for a second in my brain. Okay, where's that? Got to get our trusty uh, applicator. I don't know what it's called. Ugh. But I bought it for the sticker wallpaper and it works great for this. Okay, so what I'm doing is on the one side, I'm really trying to get our edge to edge of the glass. So like this. All right, guys, I had to move your angle so you guys could kind of see. You still can't really see, but you can see the leaves. Um, there, are, It's pretty smooth throughout. As I do this, there's a bubble here, there's a bubble here, there's a bubble there, but it's pretty smooth. Um, I might try and Get some of these other little bubbles out. Um, like this one. Also, it's just really satisfying to do this. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And then it's looking like we've got like this little gap up here. Which one I don't really have to cover, but I mean. I, I, I'm going to cover it. <laughs> um, so that's where I think I've decided we have this piece. And if I just cut a little sliver to cover that spot uh, right there, and I cut another little piece from this. All right, guys, we're all done with the window. Uh, so I have one big sheet. have those little holes. This side and this side don't have those little holes. So that's where you kind of got to think about how it puzzles together as well as how I want it to attach to this guy. Um, so I'm going to definitely lay my two or th well let's just start with the two. These two out. Um, I don't know if I want to attach them together. We just deuced it was four squares in. One, two, three, um, I'm going to do four. If it was five, I'll come back and cut. Well, now let me measure one more. I figured out where I'm cutting. 
This is a bit nerve wracking to cut this, but we're going for it. Okay, I'm going to cut here. Um, and I'm going to do my best to just cut the grid. You know, we don't want to like cut any of the fake plants. See? Didn't want that to happen. We cut one little guy. And then I feel like we might be able to use these little cut pieces uh, later on. So we're going to save those. Okay, so I cut that. Um, now I'm like not regretting, but my brain's trying to remember our puzzle. Okay. So if you go this way... Oh, I think I did cut the wrong... No. We want you this way. So this way. So this guy goes this way. Bow. So this way. And then that means that this guy needs to go the opposite. Because they're going to attach to each other. Okay. So that means I need to cut here. On this guy. Okay. Where do scissors go? You have to figure out which direction the zip ties go. Hello? Hello? Hi! Hey! Hey, there's lots uh, going on. I hope you're not moving right now because I come screaming through the door. No, it's okay. All right, guys, another day. Well, another week and another day we're back. Uh, I was mainly supposed to get curtain rods. We're going to try and get a curtain rod up here. I have a few, but I didn't have one long enough. So this guy says it's 120. Um, so I'm hoping that'll be big enough. I should have measured, I didn't, but I think that'll be good. And then we have a little short guy because we have this little window and he needed a curtain rod. And I thought that the window downstairs needed a curtain rod, but I actually might have one for downstairs. Um, and then we have a white one that's gonna go over there. So I think we'll finish hanging curtain rods today. So we got one, two and three and then I was really supposed to just buy curtain rods but I was at my favorite store and it was Ross so we bought more things that I didn't necessarily need um, but I saw this really cute pink drapery set and I thought that that would go really kind of cute with our already pink area I was gonna put up these white lace ones but now that I have these pink ones I just Let's have a whole pink corner. Like, it's supposed to be really girly and pink and femme. Um, and then each room, I do want to have... I'm an iPhone person, so we have the iPhone cords. And then I found this, which was a dual charger. So then we can have a pink cord in the uh, powder room. And then we'll have a black cord that can be in the jungle room. So that if you're upstairs, you can charge your phone. And then I just saw these beautiful tassels and I just couldn't resist them. I think they'll look great in the jungle room, so we'll figure out a spot for those on one of our windows, because we have three windows and there'll be curtains here, so those will go in there. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of what we're doing today. Um, oh, and I'll go grab it from downstairs, but we have one more roll, finally, to complete our tropical, dark tropical wall. So I have one more piece that I can finally get in here. And we will be done with this little corner here. And then I've ordered the wallpaper for this corner and for that corner. And those will be our last two wallpaper corners. And I have to figure out the white paint situation here because we do have white paint. And I think you can kind of see on the screen that it's like a little darker. So I don't know if that's the right white paint. So I think I might have to get a paint chip and take it and we're going to paint this whole corner white. Like this purple part needs to be white. And then when I was painting the ceiling, we have some paint. So um, that's what I will do a different day. Today, we're focused on curtains and getting all the curtain rods up uh, and finishing off that wall there. Um, and I need another battery because the camera is about to die.
situation looks like oh I could zoom out ha 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 but yeah so that's the vibe and then like I said these side pieces are supposed to be a little longer but I think because my window is so wide it doesn't hang down as much but it still looks really cute and I love sheer curtains because they just create a really nice soft light when you have a subject uh, and then we'll have some privacy film that's going to go in the center there and then I still have to do the other window over this way too uh, but we're looking really good someday soon I'm gonna make it yeah our hard work's gonna 